My name is David Wall from Johnstown Castle and we're going to cover here today slurry application methods. So the first thing about slurry is we, we're delivering N, P and K in terms of slurry. N, we have an issue with slurry and application method in terms of losses through ammonia emissions. Uh, the time of application is very important so spring has lower emissions. Weather conditions, an overcast, non-sunny day is a, a good day to spread slurry in terms of lower emissions and finally application technique so slurry application methods we have here beside us we have the the, the trail and shoe which is a low emission slurry spreading application method and beside that we have the trailing hose which is another low emission slurry spreading application method and a, an alternative to the, the splash plate so in terms of the three application methods that we have splash plate trail and shoe and direct injection we can see here the nitrogen recovery is much higher on the direct injection and the low emission slurry spreading method compared with the splash plate. The available in, you can see here we're going from 23 kilograms per hectare right up to 40 with the low emissions and then value. It's all about value at the end of the day. Uh, recover your nitrogen, recover the value of your slurry. Finally then, the benefits in terms of low emission technology, retain more in and grow more grass, reduce the fertilizer in bill on your farm and uh, less contamination, so easier grazing of that sward. In terms of the low emission technology, meet the ammonia emission target, so more sustainable for your farm in the long run. Uh, an even application of slurry, so you have no overlaps, no uh, waste of NP and K, and for your householder, your neighbor, you have less odor. For this slurry demonstration here, we applied 3,000 gallons or 33 meters cubed per hectare to all the slurry plots. Over here we have Splash plate. In the middle ground behind me, we have trailing hose. And over on uh, my right here, you have the trailing shoe. We, we applied two application timings. So a month ago and last week. These were applied a month ago and last week. And then the same here for the trailing uh, shoe method a month ago and last week. And what you can see, which is very obvious here, the plot here behind me spread with low emission slurry spreading technique has much higher nitrogen recovery and grew much more grass than the splash plate, which was also spread a month ago. The other uh, benefit of these methods is if you go into a heavy cover, you can see here the splash plate has a much uh, 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 much more of the foliage, much more of the grass is covered and contaminated with slurry which is, is not good if you want to, to graze it, compared with the low emission techniques, trailing hose here and trailing shoe, which were spread last week, which have much lower contamination. All in all, uh, the low emission slurry spreading gives you much more benefits in terms of nitrogen recovery and uh, is more sustainable for your farm.